All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. You ready? You ready? So we are underway. Opens with the inside leg kick. He landed that punch flush. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Oh, oh, he's limping. Kick lands for him there. Trying to establish that jab once again. He landed a couple good shots here. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Strong kick there. Nice leg kick. Wow, he is getting off some massive kicks. Oh, my goodness. Job landing that knee strike. Knee to the body. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Gets tagged again on the inside. Nice shot to the head. Into the full guard. Looking for a guillotine. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head slide his forearm underneath the chin, then he needs to clasp his hands together and then rotate his arms. Out and there it is. He got choked, didn't tap in time, and went out. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine shot, Big Daddy! So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that...